Hi guys, Neil Tappin and Joel Tadman here from Golf Monthly and welcome to this video in which we're looking at the ultimate bag lineup for 2019. Both Joel and myself have tested pretty much everything that there is that's out on the market uh, so far this year and this is our list from driver through to putter, including the golf ball, of the best equipment that money can buy. Yep, and remember, if you're new to the Golf Monthly YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our equipment video reviews. Of course, click the like button if you like what you're watching, and we'd love to hear from you as well. So comment down below, tell us what's your favorite club of 2019. Do you agree with our decisions, or are there some that are missing that you think we should have included? We'd love to hear from you. So let's take a look at the ultimate bag lineup for 2019, starting with the golf. Okay, so our choice in the golf ball category is, you probably won't be surprised to hear, the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1 X. Now, uh, obviously it's a franchise that's been around for many years. I'm sure you will have played it. I'm sure you'll be aware of how good it is, but actually Titleist did make some significant improvements for 2019. Yeah, I was actually surprised at how much they stepped it up for this generation compared to the previous version. The Tour Pros were asking for more ball speed and distance, and this one has delivered it without sacrificing that short game control and feel that we all know and appreciate from a Titleist Pro V1 golf ball. So uh, for me, I was getting around about one mile an hour more ball speed, three extra yards with the driver, and that's gonna help my game. It's definitely gonna help your game as well. Who doesn't wanna hit the ball further? And it comes in a new color, doesn't it, Neil? It does, yes. Uh, so it comes in Yellow. So this is the Titus Pro V1X for 2019 in yellow. Would you play it? I think I would play it, but maybe not in competition. There's a little bit of snobbishness, isn't there? Around yeah, that, it's a big, big switch for me, but I am considering it for sure. Yeah, but I mean, don't expect to see Joel using it anytime <laughs> soon. But that's not to say that if you are like me and struggle with your eyesight a little bit, it might not. Uh, it, it might certainly help you see the ball in the air a little bit better. So for 2019, we reckon the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X is a top, top performer, and Titleist have stepped it up for this year. Okay, so moving on to the putter and the uh, model that Joel and I have chosen is Odyssey's Stroke Lab. Now, um, I saw this for the first time at the start of this year and the thing that you're gonna notice first about it is the two-tone shaft. It's a sort of steel and graphite combination shaft. And both of us think it's doing something that's sort of really helping golfers out on the greens. Yeah, I've noticed the different feel of it. It feels uh, a bit more evenly balanced through the, cl the club. And also you get a bit more stability in the bottom section of the, of the head. So on longer parts, it, it just feels like it's kicking less. It's a bit more stable. And the other thing I like about the Odyssey Stroke Lab range is that there's so many different options to choose from in terms of sight lines and uh, alignment assistance. So you really, whatever type of stroke you have or what your visual preference is, there's a model to suit you. Yeah, I, I've actually been using the version that Joel has got in his hands here for the, um, for the start of 2019. And I don't know whether it's the face, uh, the design of the head, or the shaft, but there is something that's clearly working in it because I think I've putted a little bit better with this uh, putter than I have uh, with others that I've tried. Um, the, those sight lines on the top, they do work, they do really help you with your alignment and the, the whole flow and feel of the putter I think is really good. Yeah, and one, one final point on the putter design is the micro hinge face. So I've tested this on a launch monitor and it's definitely effective at reducing skid and getting the ball rolling end over end earlier in its journey and that should help you hold more mid-range putts providing you've got your alignment spot on. So there you have it. If you are in the market for a new putter to help you hold a few more putts in 2019, then the Odyssey Stroke Lab is certainly worth testing out for yourself. Right, so next up we're talking wedges. You're scoring clubs, they've got a lot of different jobs to do and it's important you get the right ones for your game. And the model we picked in this video is the Titleist Vokey SM7. And you might notice that this one actually has a slightly different colour. Neil, tell us why that is. Yeah, it's called Slate Blue and it's new for 2019 and it's the finish is really the reason we've selected this wedge. It looks absolutely stunning. Now when it comes to all clubs in your bag, but particularly your wedges, you need something that looks fantastic down behind the ball. And I think Vokey with this have really added an extra option for people. It's only a limited edition, it's a limited release, and you're gonna to have to be uh, quite quick if you want a set of these wedges, but they look stunning and they're well worth keeping your eye out for. I agree. So let's see you clip a few away, Neil. You mentioned the options there. We know with Vokey, not only do you have all the different options with the finishes, four different finishes now with SM7. It's a pretty good shot from a tight lie. But you've also got the six different sole grinds. So whether you want something that's going to be versatile where you can open the face or you want something with a wide sole that's going to give 
more bounce, a bit more forgiveness, you've got the option within the SM7 range to cater for all the different shots you might need to hit around the green. Yeah, it's something that, I mean, both Joel and I have been through the fitting process with uh, guys from Vokey, and it really does open your eyes to how the right wedge grind in particular can make a difference to how well you strike the ball. Um, you've got all of those options in the slate blue version. And the good thing about this version is that it should wear pretty well. It shouldn't get too tired too quickly. Yeah, that's one thing we've noticed with this wedge is that it does have a little bit of extra durability on this finish. So if you want your wedges to look a bit more pristine for longer, the new slate blue finish is a good choice. And of course, it comes with the excellent spin control and feel that you expect from Vokey wedges. So. Neil's hit a few good shots there, actually, quite tight to the pin. So, so the, the, well, there you have it. That's the uh, tightest Vokey SM7 in slate blue. Keep your eyes peeled for it. We think it's a real winner. Right, so moving on to irons, and as I'm sure you can imagine, there was a whole host of different shapes and sizes to choose from, but the one we eventually settled on was the Mizuno JPX 919. Now, this actually comes in four different models now. Uh, Neil, you were fitted for this range of irons. Uh, tell us a bit about what you chose and why you picked it specifically. Well, I went for the forged version, which is um, slightly more forgiving than the tour version. Uh, but it's still pretty compact down behind the ball. And what I really love about what Mizuno have done with the JPX range for this year is that I just think there's something in there for everyone. So if you're looking for something that's really going to help you in terms of forgiveness, uh, the hot metal is, is going to do that job. Yeah. If you're someone who's you know, playing out on tour, then the tour version is really going to help you as well. And I've been using this ever since the end of last year, and they've made a difference to my game. I'm playing better golf as a result of these irons. For sure. Well, let's see you hit a couple. You touched on the hot metal there. There's also the hot metal pro now as well. So you've got uh, a really confidence inspiring iron in the hot metal. And if you want something a bit more slimmer, but still offers good distance, you've got the pro version as well. And you can see with shots like that, you know, there is an element of forgiveness built into these clubs, but they feel pretty soft as well, Neil, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I think with the, with, the, with the iron market, most of the manufacturers are offering more distance, but with that comes in, you know, ball flights that are getting quite aggressive. And if you're a slower swinger, you might have issues in terms of gapping at the top end of the bag. I think Mizuno have done a good job. You know, they're modern lofts, they are quite strong, but you can still get the ball up and it still offer sort of a really good level of consistency of distance. Yeah, and they've kept the spin up with these irons as well. So you should better control the left to right dispersion a bit more with these irons than maybe some other lower spinning game improvement options out there. So there you have it, the Mizuno JPX 919 irons. Neil's hitting them especially well on the range. Who knows, if you try them, you might hit them well too. Right, so in this area of the bag, we've actually got two options for you. We've got a hybrid and we've got a utility club. So let's start with the hybrid, Joel. Uh, you've hit everything. What have you got I have. for? I deliberated long and hard over this, but in, in the end, I settled for the TaylorMade M6. Hybrids for me, they need to get the ball up quickly, they need to be forgiving, they need to be fast. Uh, and this one ticks all those boxes for me. On top of that, it looks really good as well. It's very easy to align. It's one of the best looking hybrids on the market. Is it more sort of fairway wood like in its look behind the ball, or would you Definitely. say? Definitely. So if you're someone who struggles with those longer shots into greens, you want something that's going to inspire a lot of confidence and be very easy to hit. This is definitely one of the easiest hybrids to hit on the market. Um, and also it comes in a slightly lower price point. So in terms of value for money, I think you're going to get a lot from this club. You're going to use it in a lot of different scenarios out on the golf course, long par threes, long par fours, trying to reach par fives. And it's just going to give you more consistency, I think, just because it's so user friendly. So that's the hybrid covered, but there's going to be a lot of people watching this who aren't necessarily fans of hybrids. And if you're not, and I would say that I'm probably not a hybrid user, then there are a whole host of utility irons out there that are going to offer really good forgiveness and distance. Joel, what have you gone for? So we've gone for the Ping G410 crossover. Um, for me, it's one of the best looking, most forgiving utility irons you can get on the market, even though it has slimmed down significantly from the previous version. I just think it's, it's going to give you the nice balance of forgiveness, looking easy to hit, while also giving you that stronger penetrating flight that you look for from a utility iron. Don't get me wrong, if you peg it up, you can still hit it high, uh, and that's why I think it's one of the most versatile options as well. It's in, this particular area of the golf bag has seen some of the, I would say, some of the best innovation over the last five years. 
So, I mean, all of the premium bags, um, premium brands are offering these types of golf clubs, but yet you feel like this one is the standout product. And yet, for some people out there, if they're looking for a thinner top line, they might be tempted to go elsewhere. Definitely, yeah. This is probably one of the bigger utility irons you can get, but I actually quite like that. It's got a long blade length from heel to toe, and that just gives me a bit more confidence that I'm not going to miss hit it significantly out of the heel or toe, to be honest. And it does come with a graphite shaft as well, so that's going to hopefully give you a bit more of a lighter feel, a bit more speed as well. So no matter what you're looking to do at the top end of your bag, whether you want hybrids or you want long irons, there are a couple of options out there that you should definitely think about testing out for yourself. Right, so moving into the Fairway Woods. This is a club that has to do a lot of different jobs. And I've actually recently tested all the Fairway Woods on the market. And there were a couple that really stood out for me in terms of ball speed. And I've got a feeling, Neil, that you're going to pick it in this Ultimate Bag video. Yeah, well, so the uh, Fairway Wood I've gone for is the Callaway Epic Flash. And look, the reason I went for it is because I think it's easy to hit. Okay, so it's got uh, Callaway's artificial intelligence, their flash face that should uh, improve ball speeds across the face. I just really love the profile down behind the ball. It's a slightly deeper uh, looking uh, sort of face than for instance the TaylorMade M6. That might suit other players out there. I just feel like this is a really easy to use uh, fairway wood that's easy to use off the deck as it is off the tee. So yeah, I think it's a great performer. Yeah, it flights the ball quite high. And don't forget it does come in a sub-zero version. If you want to flight the ball a little bit lower with a little bit lower spin, you've got that option as well. So it's a very versatile offering from Callaway, two different versions to suit different player types. Now, question for you guys is, what do you think of the looks of the new Callaway range for 2019? So from driver all the way through their, their metal wood range, uh, it's a striking look, isn't it? What are your thoughts? Definitely, yeah. I mean, on the whole, I like the look of it. I'm not a big fan of the gray line on top of the crown, but apart from that, I think it's a very striking, uh, very kind of modern cutting edge looking and that really does translate into the feel of the face as well. It is one of the hottest, fastest feeling fairway woods on the market for me. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think the shape of this fairway wood is absolutely spot on. So uh, my feeling is that if you're in the market for a fairway wood in 2019, you need to find something that you can hit consistently well from a host of different positions. And for me, the Callaway Epic Flash is really hard to beat. Okay, so moving on to the much awaited driver section of this video and the option that we've gone for, you might not be surprised to hear, is the Cobra King F9 Speedback. It's had a lot of hype at the start of this year. It is a really good performer. Now I did a, a, a group driver test at the beginning of 2019. This was one of the brands I tested alongside all of the other premium brands and it didn't perform any better than those but it performed just as well as those and it comes in for quite a bit less. Joel, why is this such an outstanding driver for people to be thinking about getting to 2000? You kind of touched on it there, Neil, and that it is really the complete package. It's got everything you'd ever want from a driver. It's forgiving, it's fast, it's got adjustability, and it's got really good value for money. You know, like Neil said, it's a much lower price point, and you're not really sacrificing anything uh, for your money. So Why don't you hit one for us? Let's hit one see if I can demonstrate that. And what I really like about it, it's got a, quite a nice light feel, so I feel I can swing it really fast without losing control. Good shot. Yeah, it, do you know, it, it, it looks great, it sounds great, and it performs really well on centre hits, on off centre hits. What's not to like? Yeah, I really enjoy using this driver out on the course. It's a fun driver to hit, uh, and it's got some really good shaft options as well. You know, this hazardous smoke is a really popular option, uh, very stable, comes in a lot of different flexes. So for me, like you say, just really does tick all the boxes. Yeah, so if you are in the market for a driver in 2019, add that one to your test list. So there you have it, that's our choice for the ultimate bag lineup of 2019. Starting with the golf ball, you've got the Titleist Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Then you've got the Odyssey Stroke Lab putters. Uh, then it's Titleist Vokey SM7 wedge in slate blue finish. Then you've got the Mizuno JPX919 forged irons. Uh, and then we have two options for you at the top end of the bag. There's the TaylorMade M6 hybrid and the Ping G410 crossover. In the fairwood, we've picked the Callaway Epic Flash. And finally, the driver is the Cobra King F9 Speedback. 
Now, if you were to tot up the prices of all those clubs combined for our ultimate bag, it would cost you a whopping £2,400. That's if you bought three Vokey SM7 wedges and a dozen Pro V1 golf balls. But of course, this is the ultimate bag. These are the best clubs we think that are on the market in 2019. So it's gonna cost a lot. If you shop around, I'm sure you can get some bargains. And don't forget, you haven't got to buy all of them. I think even just one or two would make a big difference to your game. Yeah, and, and both Joel and I think that the uh, performance on offer across the board in the bag of clubs that we've got in front of us here might make, just make a crucial difference to your game. So if you are in the market, perhaps it's worth adding one or two, two of these to your test list. Guys, thank you very much for watching the video. If you've liked what you've seen, hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any of our equipment videos. And if you do have any comments, leave them below. What do you think of the, of the 14 or 15 actually clubs that we've picked in this video? We'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. But for now, from West Hill, it's goodbye. Goodbye.